I am Nathan in particular, and today we're going to be continuing our Stanley Parable playthrough. Um, the last video, it was uh, it was pretty fun. Uh, please enter the current time. Uh, the last video, we were just trying our best to just mess everything up. Uh, <laughs> now, it is currently 4.15 a.m. Uh, I woke up at like 3 in the morning, um, and you know what? <laughs> Ah, 4.16 a.m., your favorite time of day. Okay. Or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? That is the correct time, actually. After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 4.16 a.m. is. Let's use another slider to find out. How accurate is 4.16 a.m.? Is very accurate. You know... Can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. Okay. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. Okay. It's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Hmm. Perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip a couple new ones up. Should be ready next time you boot up the game. All right, cool. We're going to uh, turn the sound down a little bit. Perfect. All right. Okay, so last time we played, um, we were we were being very difficult toward the narrator. We were doing everything he told us not to do, um, which. Uh, it ultimately led to our demise, basically. But then another voice chimed in and gave us the option to exit to the menu. So now we're on the menu, and now we're going to see what's going to happen. So let's hit begin the game and see what goes down. Is never the end is loading. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay. Stanley worked for Skip it. Might as well. We've seen that. Achievement unlocked. Alright. Alright, so what's gonna be different? What's gonna be different? Okay. Let's All of his do this. Was gone. What could it mean? It means Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. They all caught SIDS and they're all out of work. Disclaimer, if you have SIDS, I'm sorry. I hope it gets better. I don't know a lot about it, but I hope it gets better. I don't know if it can get better, but I hope it does. Good luck. Um, okay, so... Everything seems pretty normal at this point we need aha when Stanley came to a set of two open doors he entered the door on his left on his left let's do it we're going to follow the flow a little bit this time you know what I mean I keep trying all the doors even though they never open but you, Yet there you was never not a know single person here either you, the, Feeling away one of these days of it could open Stanley decided and to go up to his boss's office, <gasps> hoping he might find an this. answer there. Look at this. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Come on, let me do something. Are you going to say anything else? <laughs> Come on. Come on. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. <laughs> no reason to still be here. <laughs> Hey, what if I like hanging out in the room closet? What if I close the door? Does that make a difference? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting <laughs> in the room closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally <laughs> just standing there doing sweet F.A. 
<laughs> okay. All right, we're going. We're going. Sorry. That was cool though. That was new stuff. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs we go. No. So some new doors are opening, which haven't opened before. The executive bathroom is the same. Cookies in the morning, cookies in the evening, cookies at breakfast time. I think, is that right? Am I singing that? If I'm not singing that right, who cares? We'll change it. I don't care. We'll change history. I'm just, we're built different. That's what it is. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety oh. isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Feeling soothed and what? rejuvenated, Stanley oh. calmly you walked had forward into the opened passageway. Now, hear me out though. That's what you get. You didn't let me talk a whole lot last episode. And by George, I'm going to talk this episode. Also, I mean, the music was great, but if you've got some Michael Bolton, I'll hear it now. Tell me how am I supposed to leave? That's copyright. That's definitely copyright. Michael Bolton watches this video. You're awesome. Descending oh. deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit. I doubt peculiar. he watches the video. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, okay. as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. Ooh, God. I forgot about the sparking on the elevator. It caught me off Stanley guard. walked straight ahead Ooh. through the large door. Jeez, man. Mind control facility. Let's do it. We're actually trying to do a little bit what he does, says this time. Maybe we'll find some new stuff. What is this? Turn the light The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What oh, horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? <laughs> I know what I must do. But I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Ah, uh -huh. camera button. Now the monitors jumped Whoa. to life. Their true nature revealed. Watching Each everybody in the, the office. Number of an employee <gasps> in the building. Employee fire. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom oh. meant nothing. Employee fire. Okay. This is getting quite interesting. They've been watching us. That's, uh... That's not okay. Little papers. Papers. What is this? Am I going to take him out? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. It is. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? We may be controlling Stanley right now, so... No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! Suck it, it up, was Buttercup. was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart oh. of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or oh. sad, or content. Walking, eating, okay. working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he okay. would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, say less. Let's mess it up. We're good at messing things up. Dang. <laughs> 
System power. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Oh, After I thought they I was supposed you to. enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control oh. of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, uh, I really do. I didn't but mean you do need that. to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. Uh, that's what if I wanted you want to, to do. Throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. Let me turn I'm it off. afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency no. detonation system. No. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, what? eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stan? No. It's your time. I don't want to die. Shine. You no. are the star. It's your story now. Shape it, it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than Turn what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left no. to enjoy it. Mere Please. moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me. Where we're going. What I think we're means. doomed. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co workers are? Uh, A moment going. of solace before you're obliterated. We're going. We're leaving. All right, we are out of here. Good. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. <gasps> I turned off the machine. I set Evil. you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your what? office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. No. Watching you try to make sense no. of everything and take back the control I'm wrested away from you, off. it's quite rich. I it? must hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Well, thank you. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Can I go oh, turn it off? What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? I indeed. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or oh. this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? I was hoping. Do you have any <laughs> idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> Why do you laugh like Clank from Ratchet and Clank? But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. That's pretty sadistic, this man. It's a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. No, I didn't. But I'm going to destroy I didn't. it first, so you can't. No! Take a look at the clock, Stanley. I see that's it. 30 seconds you have left to struggle. Ah! 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. That's will not cool. desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Okay. And believe me, okay. I will be laughing <laughs> at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Man. I meant to hit off. I thought I had to turn the machine on to like go in the other room and like disable it or something. That is not how it works. At all. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. I don't know Perhaps why. he had simply missed a memo. I don't know why I feel like I need to turn all those computers off. 
but you know what? It's what we doing. Maybe some of these other doors will open sometime. Uh, when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Let's try this again. Maybe we'll hit the off switch and something cool will happen. Maybe we'll be able to keep going. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley oh. pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill <laughs> surprise. What? Man. They got a good... You know, I like that. I didn't even have to put in the code. That feels nice. Oh, yeah. Loving the nail right there. Shh. Yeah, it's copyright. Let's see that. Stanley walked straight oh ahead through the goodness. large door that read Mind Control Facility. Uh-huh. Yep, that's what we doing. Be nice if you'd moved a little faster this time. But you know what? I'm the patient, lights rose boy. on an enormous room packed with television screens. Television. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Um all I'm saying is if they're monitoring us, I promise I wasn't playing games on the computer when I should have been working. I'm sorry. Uh, it's now just the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Fired. Each bore oh, the number there's two people fired now. In the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And okay. Stanley... One of them, eternally monitored in this place, One. where freedom meant nothing. Two. Yeah, there's two people fired now. There was only one last time. People getting fired even though they're all gone. This mind control facility, it was you're too fired, horrible to believe fired, it couldn't fired. be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's well, control all this time? Was this the oh. only reason he was happy with his huh. boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Nonsense. We got No. He refused to believe it. He pirate. couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's pirate. control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? I don't know. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Maybe. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad okay. or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, well, we're Stanley decided turn it that up. this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. That's right. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. We did it. We we've done it. Um blackness. Oh, and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Was it? I'm having a feeling that it's not over. Yes. He had won. I won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Yes. Freedom was mere moments away. <laughs> and yeah. yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? That's how hard. had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Also what fair. other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. <laughs> for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Oh, look at this. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped 
through the open door. I feel like we could maybe go back. I kind of want to go though. It's so pretty. Yes. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right oh, yeah. now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Until the next day. <laughs> when he went back to the office. Beat the game. Hey, we got we got our first inning. I I think it was the first inning. I can't be certain. But hey, I mean we got All an ending, so that's gone. pretty rad. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, we're we're doing stuff this time. We're we're going crazy. I don't know what that does, but we're gonna keep hitting it. It doesn't even matter. You turn off. That's right. Oh, bup, bup, bup. <gasps> new content. Oh, new content. What does that mean? New content. Exactly. That's what I was wondering. I like new content. All right. Oh God, it's dark. Oh, loading screen. All right. It's quite dark. We're going to find Hello, the Chamber of and Secrets. Thank you for playing the Stanley Parable oh. Ultra Deluxe. Thanks. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. I remember that. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 <laughs> with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Nice. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the <laughs> world of the Stanley Parable, <laughs> delighting audiences hey. the world over. Okay. Please Interesting. Step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. It does. I'm very excited it? to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay. Me too, let's go. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Me too. I think we're going to have some fun. Um, hello? Um, is it broken? That's what What's I was wondering. What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there we go. All right, finally, <laughs> at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Let's go! Yeah! Mm. Let's do it. Hmm? What? Mm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. Oh. It's as if... Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, <laughs> Stanley. Let's go say it. What? All right, all right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. The jump circle. Oh, I can jump. Jump. Dun 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 dun. Shh. We can't do that. Jump, 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 jump around. Jump, 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 jump and down. Oh, I guess you jump up, not down. Hey! Whoa! Do I do I do I get anything? Do I is is that it? <laughs> Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Um, probably. Maybe there's like a a another elevator. Goodness! Another elevator, Stanley. Me. I have to say. Initial impressions of this game are not positive. <laughs> it's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, uh, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 somehow. hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand <laughs> hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. <laughs> no. Yes. Very good indeed, sir. Very good else. indeed. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. 
Well, there's a bridge. Thank you for playing the new content. <laughs> That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. Call them and out. get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed <laughs> off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> that happens, fault, that happens. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. Okay. What do you say, friend? Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Whoa, what is this? It's different. It's different. What's happening? It's different. Guys, it's different. What's going on? Yeah, that's how the first area used to look. Now it looks like this. Oh, oh! Stanley, what? Come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. Okay. You scared me though. Is it the coffee cup? Must put. Did I die? Did I <laughs> Did you just lead me to my death? No. Okay. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be. Oh yeah, try it. Thinking about the past <laughs> and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Ooh. Take a look. Well, this is this is my kind of looking game right here. Throw me some magic spells up in here. We'll get it going. I call it the memory Ooh. zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. This is nice. We can have a picnic. Man. Memory, sweet memory. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October <laughs> of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. It's true. Oh, the waste. I mean, you, you're making a good point here. Calling out all... He's calling... This game's calling out all those developers... That just like will take content that is just rushed and just they just put it out for money. They don't they don't take the time to care about their players. They don't take the time to you know make something worthwhile that players want to like you know play the game, fight for it. I can I can respect that. The original remake. Cool. This game's rad though. I like this smile because it happened. That's that's nice. Trip down memory lane. A dollar? Is that the first is that supposed to be the first dollar they made on the Stanley Parable? Begin the demo. Nice. Unachievable. It is impossible to get this achievement. Okay. Go outside. Don't play for five years. Is that was that real? Is that a real thing? If that was a real achievement, that's that's kind of crazy. I assume it's a meme achievement. I assume they just like give it to you f for something. Okay. All right. I got some nominees up in here. I've got a creator surprisingly down to earth. Rutgers goes from scandal to new crisis. 50% off designer hat, but a small creature owns the other half. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. Oh, look. It's us dead. Remember that? We did that. We killed ourselves. 
Stanley Parable deals tough choices. I mean, I've kind of just little. Oh, little Stanley, little hamster. Oh, did the little hamster die? Poor little feller. Can we? This is a this is a good view. I like it. Hey, that's banging. All right. Another here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. What it isn't if? even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Oh. What if I told you I've played a lot of Skyrim? Okay, everyone, most people, if you're a gamer, you've most likely played a lot of Skyrim. Like, that's just a given. What if I told you I've only played Persona 1, 2, and 5? I've never, I've never played 3, and I didn't even know there was a 4 until 5 came out. So, I mean, hopefully... Hopefully they weren't bangers, uh, cause I never got to play them. Do I go up? Oh, downstairs looks. Eh. Oh, the doors closing always get me. Memory zone maintenance can't go in there. That's fine. Um, uh, on Steam, all the buttons. Person of the year. It's a blurry picture of Stanley. That looks like an old, an old like Nintendo Entertainment System kind of game, only in like a, yeah. Hey, look, it's the doors. You gonna, aha, uh -huh. let's look at stuff. Monitor. Oh, look at that. For Scott K. That's a nice car right there. I'd drive that. Would you drive that? I'd drive that. That's nice. Oh, red and a, and a blue door. I'd go through the blue door because blue's my favorite color. Uh, this is pretty cool, though. I did not expect this game to just go this way. That's where we came from. All right. Um, what's on the table? My, the top ten memories from the Stanley Parable 2013. Uh, da, 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 da. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. Okay. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and mm -hmm. one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It okay. didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Yeah, but, I mean, it's okay to sometimes bring something back that people renownedly loved, as long as you don't, as long as you don't tear down what it was. You can expand on what it is, just don't get rid of what it, what it is. You know what I mean? Um, as far as that goes, like, I really love games that have, like, karma systems, as long as it's done well. Like, you remember the Infamous games? Those games were amazing. You could be good or evil. 
But the problem is, is, uh... What? I can't go? They won't let me in there. I want to go in there. Ah! Uh, but I want to go in there. They're going to make me go this way. <sighs> These were simpler times, Stanley. Yeah. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. I mean... What did that thing say? What did that thing say that I passed? It said, smile because it happened. Just be happy that it happened. Wait, you know? hang on. Okay. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Well, let's go check. Let's check it out together. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, <laughs> the online video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. Oh, boy. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Probably not. People can be trolls. See, I could even... not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The well, narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with I his humor and great. dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Um, Funny. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable. No, but the game man. is already such a oh, densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Listen, man. I think you're hilarious. I think the game is great. Okay? You're gonna find trolls. It happens. No matter how good your game is, there's gonna be somebody bashing. Okay, it's part of life. But I know this is also just part of the game. So. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy, Stanley. I'm not preachy, am I? Nah. You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but uh -huh. maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. No. Like I let these people down. No. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Well, as I said, trolls. You can't listen to trolls. This game is very interesting. There's a reason it got so popular is because it's a good game. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. Wahoo! What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. No. <laughs> a skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews Whoa. from the record. Only positive Whoa. reviews of the Stanley Parable. Oh, okay. That's my motto today, and it's always been That's my motto. Freaking, yeah. I do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, mm, a skip button no. we shall have. Don't have that mentality. The customer is not always right. If you ever worked in restaurant business or retail, I've done both. The customer is rarely right. People have no idea what's going on. So, I mean, if that offends you, sorry, but it's true. If you're in any line of work, you know how people can be. What if I don't want to hit the skip button? I like your narrations. I did, Okay, I did skip the intro this time, <laughs> but he doesn't need to know that. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. What it's I... what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. I'm not and pushing if the people it. Want science, I'm not going to push then it. by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for no. me to shut up. Go no. ahead and make me shut up. No. Yeah, 
We'll pretend that I've just begun an That's interminable rude. monologue, and it goes something like this. I'm gonna listen to The story to it. and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245, that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years. Until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many <laughs> billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say, or by becoming it is. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was okay. plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue I'll full of unnecessary to verbal flourishes and lengthy times, ruminations okay. on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, Aww. I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Okay. Or maybe a manifesto. A manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly, and you can tell me what you think. Tell me okay. the whole thing. So okay. my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are, or were, or will be at the time of having made said choice. Okay. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your great gift of mortal and yet timeless thought, or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made in fact make you more not this kind of person, and in fact do the very opposite? You see, okay. it could in fact be both of these things at once, that you are both making choices and not making choices, and that they are both affecting you and not affecting you. I feel at like the they want me to hit the skip button again. The fact that you but we're not are gonna. And are not making them. Okay, at first I was leaning towards manifesto, but now I'm going to circle around and slap the treatise label on this one. I think it has much more of a treatise vibe to it. But wouldn't you say that manifesto just has a much grander sort of tone? It has Indeed. a mouthfeel that is rich with ambition and history. Ambitious <laughs> history, if you will. <laughs> Ah. See, now you've got me going back to manifesto. Heavens, at this rate, we're going to be here all day. Okay, look, I have a method for exactly this sort of situation. Yes. And I do find myself in this situation frequently. Okay. I'm going to say each word back and forth in repeated succession until I become sick of one or the other. In gotcha. which case, the word I am not sick of shall be the victor. Uh -huh. It is an unimpeachable strategy, Stanley. <laughs> it's rescued me from disaster in countless situations. All right. He's going to hate both of them. <laughs> Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start okay. to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at uh -huh. least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I, I guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review, merely because <laughs> of this very situation. Yes, okay. I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to change their review so that the feature is not widely abused. Look, I would even be okay with Steam altering this particular review so that it reads as something more beneficial. Something <laughs> along the lines of, this game is the best game. Hmm. Let me start over. <laughs> All right. How about this? From the, from the ashes of depravity rises the phoenix of quality. 
How else to describe the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? <laughs> Such a revolutionary step forward in the lineage of one of the most beloved video game properties of all time. The additions and changes made to this expansion will surely resonate in the annals of the history of all media ever made. Okay. It is perhaps true to say that no mistakes are forever etched in stone for the stone into which the Stanley Parable was carved has itself been transmuted, <laughs> offering a message of hope to those who have ever erred in their judgment. Okay. You are not beyond redemption. You may change, and you may become more, so much more than you were before. If there is any message to be taken from the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, it is this. What a fortune, <laughs> a privilege, a joy it is to have had such an experience. It leaves me Get hopeful it. that as a community, as a world, there is time for us to become our greatest selves, as great as we ever could dream of in our wildest, most ambitious visions for a brighter future. Wow. Now, Stanley, that's a review. Oh, it's, yeah. It's perfect. It's the perfect review. It's the review I've always dreamed of receiving. I... Well, I have to read it again. Oh, it's no. simply too wonderful. Oh, no. I have to experience this just one more time. Okay. From the from the ashes of depravity. From from rises from, the from the ashes. How else to describe the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? All right. Such since he's gonna just read this over the again. Of one of the most um, video game properties of all time. The additions. You may have seen my poppy playtime videos. Uh, in the you may remember the Lieutenant Dan from those it videos. Is true to say uh, that well, no mistakes are forever I got etched in stone a little Lieutenant the Dan which the in the mail. Has is, itself been isn't that adorable? It's a Lieutenant a Dan. Hope to those who he's going to sit on my desk from judgment. now on. You are so, not beyond he's redemption. part of the crew. You may I feel like he's going to say it again. Well, I have to read it again. Thought it's so. simply. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. The door's that gone. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> That's it's fair. not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. <laughs> I know it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. Okay. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated. Gotcha. And we can say goodbye to it and just, wait. How do we get out of here? Where did the door go? That's what I Wasn't said. Wasn't there a door that led into this room? Yeah, it was right there. I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. Can you put How me one there? How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? Just put me I one don't there. I think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently uh, large crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button to go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. Where did it go? Can you maybe just ram your way through a wall? Is there any possibility that you could, say, slam your body into the wall until enough damage is done for you to be able to leave? Please, I'll take any option at all. I'm, I'm trying. asking you to work with me here. I, we need a door. We need a door of some kind. I can work with any kind of door as long as it can open and lead from one room to another. I'm, I'm going to step away for just ah. a moment, and I'm going to try to find us a door. I'm trying to break the wall down. I don't know exactly to remove a door and place it in a different wall, but I will find a way, I promise. You just need to not do anything. Don't press the skip button. Please, okay. please, please do not press the skip button just okay. wait here wait here for me and don't press the skip button gotcha got it yes. yes good i'll be right back okay i'll be here all right um if nothing happens i'm going to edit this and we're going to jump in time and hit the skip button okay but we're going to let we're going to wait it out okay <laughs> Do do down, do do. Oh yeah, do do. Oh, do 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 do. Oh, Lieutenant Dan, Lieutenant Dan on the microphone. Yeah, Lieutenant Dan, Lieutenant Dan. Oh yeah, I'm Lieutenant Dan on the microphone. Yeah. Lieutenant Dan! Sorry. Sorry. I'll put it away, okay? Sorry. 
Okay, sorry, I'm done. I'm done. Sorry. Um, I don't think he's coming back. All right, we're gonna we're gonna press the skip button. Nothing's ha it's it's been a while. I I've sat here for like ten minutes. We're hitting it. Stanley, Stanley, St Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been twelve hours. Oh gosh. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times, and there's no door, Stanley. Yeah. There's no door. There's just I've you noticed. and the button, and if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. Okay. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it, and I have to believe. I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? I've been thinking and thinking, and I, I don't know what I can do to convince you otherwise. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. <laughs> okay. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Why was it so important for me to fix the problem? Why did Cookie Nine's opinion matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie Nine. I have no idea who they are. There you go. What would it ever really matter? But here I am. I'm fixating on every tiny negative thing that anyone ever says about me. <laughs> the merest mention of one of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child. Wild and impulsive. I can't help myself. I can't stop myself from lashing out with a vengeful fury to alter and to change and to break anything unbroken if only yeah. it pleases this okay. one person who made a single negative comment. What does such an impulse serve? For whose benefit is this? And here I am now stuck in I a mean... room waiting for you to press this button and to become frozen in time knowing that you're going to do it and that I'm going to be stuck all alone. That Aww. I had the power to prevent it all from happening if only I'd held my tongue. It's all out of my control now. Just you. Just your decision as to exactly when you're going to make me suffer to leave me all alone. Aww. Surely you will. Why you gotta do that? Doubt it. Surely you'll press that button again, leaving me here. And surely you'll put your own desire to see what's next ahead of my need for company, for companionship. Surely you'll not be moved by my howls of fitful anxiety that you sit with me and just stay here. Oh, no, 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 I know you too well. You'll be leaving me again. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't. Okay. Oh, Stanley. You're back. You're back. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to the plant's again. dying. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that um, feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? Yeah. But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It okay. isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what oh, I'm realizing okay. now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. Okay. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every branching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe, if yeah. you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Perhaps. No, no. Yes. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time that if Perhaps. I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence <laughs> and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and me. Okay. When you press that button, you're still right there. But I know you're so tremendously far away. And in those <laughs> moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us. 
and I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. Right. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. I can tell that I am becoming less and less real. Yet to speak to you now, I am alive. Ah. I am truly and completely here. I am a being. I am someone. I am something. I am being listened to. I am being recognized. The emptiness between us has collapsed, and I feel right now like I am not a work of fiction. I feel as though I occupy space in this world again, and I have cast a shadow onto the wall. You see what I'm saying, don't you? You can see what this means to me. I'm so clear about it now, Stanley. I feel as certain about this as I've ever felt about anything at all. I feel renewed. I feel restored. And already okay. I can sense the looming silence as you will press the button for the next time. What a terrible dread it strokes in my heart to think of it. To think of returning to such coldness. Come, let us sit in silence together here for just a moment. Let us anticipate it. Let us welcome it. Let us not run from it. Okay. I don't like being silent. That's just not the way to go. I want to talk. Okay. I'm assuming I'm going to have to hit the button again. Go for it. Just do it. Okay. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. It's dark. I stopped keeping track after a year. Oh. Have you ever sat down in one place and not move for one entire year? No. Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt okay. nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days. Months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. This all is... of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but Clock wallow in it for anymore. what felt like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation for me. It okay. was unlike anything I had ever known. <laughs> it was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. It was divorced entirely from the question of free will that you and I have squabbled over for so long. There could be no one ending, no singular outcome of events, not if all events existed in the same moment. And I felt okay. freed. I felt unburdened by the need to manifest a particular outcome into being. I saw that I could allow myself to exist along all timelines, and that each of them was simply a strand in the web of my being. It was incredible, the spaciousness, the equanimity of the moment, uh, both singular yeah. and infinite. <laughs> For the longest time, this was my experience. And then, this moment passed, and the most unyielding fear I have ever known crept into my mind. And it is this sensation that I have been experiencing now for longer than I could have okay. ever expected was possible. I have been waiting for you. Not that you might save me or do something to fix it, but merely to state for you the plain fact of this manner of existence. I wish you to feel afraid as I do. Oh. That perhaps one day this state of mind will consume you as well. Perhaps My you goodness. will somehow, in some way, have to live as I do now. And I wish for you to know how excruciating it is and for you to be in true terror of its oh. eventual arrival. If okay. I can only do this, only this one thing, perhaps it will bring me the smallest moment of peace in the darkness. Well, there's definitely darkness. Okay. Interesting. Alright, let's hit the button again. I'm scared. Why'd the clock fall? Where's that coming from? Oh, 
Okay. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. <laughs> they okay. gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. <laughs> it wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an an uncompromising heart, the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. We get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want oh. all of this in the new Stanley parable. We demand it. And then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. The most immediate desires, every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If yeah. someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that our entertainment is now our lives. It has come to represent us. It absolutely must speak to who we are as people. Because otherwise, without our entertainment, we have nothing. Without entertainment, we would have to face inward toward the cruel bleakness inside ourselves. We would turn to look at our deeper nature okay. and find a resounding emptiness so... gazing back with unyielding aggression. And so, so because of this, we require that our amusements and our playthings and our flights of fancy be so impossibly captivating that they consume all of our attention, turn our heads completely away from the bleakness. In effect, we have demanded that our entertainment be the collapse of ourselves. What a pitiful reflection of humanity these entertainments are. What a shameful mirror to the human he's spirit a, they project. He's I'm a little not upset. Mad. I'm not mad about any of this. Uh -huh. I'm at peace with it. Uh, I am the sure. calm center of gravity around which these perversions hurl themselves. I am a <laughs> waypoint for reasonable and collected discourse. They're the ones who are mad. They're the ones who couldn't stand the idea of me using my game to try to say something. Maybe they were just jealous of me. Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> They've been jealous of me this whole time. They are mired in fear and insecurity and cannot help but attempt to tear me down. What a sad state of affairs. When you read these reviews now, you can see it. You can taste the bitter resentment. And my, how good does it feel now to speak truth to these words, to finally allow these thoughts out, contained and managed for so long, neutered and sterilized, at last I am free to truly think to feel it must be that Great. they were so discontent with themselves <laughs> they couldn't help but leave a negative review on steam perhaps it says far more about them than it ever said about me perhaps the state of their psychological being was in such tatters and my constitution and willpower are so ironclad in comparison perhaps it was this state that they sought some outlet through which to tear me down this, you can see, is clearly why they felt the need to expect that the game be funny. That it be filled with yucks and whimsical humor. That it amused them so, endlessly from start to finish. He's having a breakdown. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. Let's skip. Okay, well, let's skip again. The end is never 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 the end is Hit it. Nothing happening. <gasps> oh! Maybe... Maybe the... Maybe the building will deteriorate and I'll be able to get out? Maybe? 
Maybe that's what's gonna happen. Let's hit the button again. Let's rot this build now so we can get out. Get me out of here. Can I use this ladder to get out? Come on, guy. Let me use it. Man, I really thought we were going to get out of here. Well, the building is falling, so maybe we'll be able to... Well, we got some foliage now. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Alright. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's getting creepy now. Uh, huh. I'm not digging it too much. I'm not liking that. Oh my goodness. Alright. Skip. Skip. Yo! I knew it. I knew we'd get out of here. What? What is happening right now? We're in the desert? Is the narrator gone? Kevin! Kevin, come back! You were my only friend. You were my only friend. Um, does it matter which way we go? Let's pick a direction. Let's just go this way. This looks like a good place to wander. Could we have hit the button again, maybe? Oh! What happened? Oh. Oh! Look at this! We're back! We are back! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Listen, Stanley man. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Listen, man. We've been through some stuff, okay? some things things and stuff all right new new content oh good you notice my sign yes I have something very exciting to show you okay oh there's a oh gosh okay yeah load me in load me in let's see what we got Oh, well, this is much faster than it was last time. You see, Stanley, I've been ah. reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The <laughs> I, original Stanley I mean... Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. God. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Okay. The end's never the end. Again. Yes, you see, Again. Isn't this far superior to a measly re release with a few minor additions. Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. Okay. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Alright. Taste the sequel. Can't open those. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra sure. Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2. Now that's an artistic statement right there. Uh, it's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. 
Just the two of us. Oh, hey! Just the two of us. We can make Just because they wrote it doesn't mean you can sing it legally. Stop it! Good song, though. Uh, I think Ultra Deluxe is just like the thing where you can get like extra meat on your sandwich at Subway or something like that. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I'm going crazy. Okay. I swear to I it was either a door creaking or a cat going. Eee. Either way. Oh. You imagine like a a brand of laptop called like the Raven Raven laptop with that logo on it. That'd be cool. Man, imagine if you had like an office building that looked like this. If this was my YouTube studio, I'd be, I'd be so excited. Look at all this. You'd be, I'd be, I'd take a nap on this couch. It's like, oh, you just recorded for, uh, seven hours. Lay on the couch, take a nap. When you wake up, edit the video. Heh. I swear, I swear. There's two Stanleys. One of them doesn't have a computer, though. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. We'll but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Okay. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a <laughs> fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Who took the red marker? It was me. Can I open this? No. No, the door's open so far, but that's okay. Um, Crab, the ultimate sequel. All right, time for Crab. Oh, oh, oh. Every pause button is a Roman numeral, too. Okay. You are the sequel. Yay! I'm the greatest. That's creepy over that way. Let's go this way. This way to the show floor. Valued investors, huh? Can I sit in a seat out here and... New features. New content. Oh, come on. Let me on the bus. Alright. Well, this, ga <laughs> this game's getting uh, a little crazy. Oh, man. Look at this. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Oh. Where are some of the new features? Oh, look at this. New features, new content, new game. All those shirts. Oh. I would totally wear some of these shirts. I would totally wear uh, that I saw the new content shirt. Or this t-shirt is the best new feature. I would wear that. Well, let's look around. Let's look around. Okay. Let's go over here. No jumps remaining player tiers. Oh. Yeah. That's fair. I was pretty sad that all the... Enjoy the new features. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it okay. will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. All right. Well, that's fine. All right, we're going up top here. Okay. Okay, so we can go up or down. Settings, world champion. Infinite hole? Uh, look, let's look at these collectibles. Collectibles. 
Alright. Yeah, show me collectibles. Collect them all. What? Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering okay. up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for That's collecting creepy. all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Fair. Hey! One of six. Alright. Very nice. Oh gosh, it's dark back there now. Yeah, we're not going back in there. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. I mean, I like getting something when I call if if I put the time in, I like getting something for it. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a Oh wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm, oh well. I suppose Aww. it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Aw. Aw, man. Free, new and easy achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. Okay. Free achievement. Get yours right now. Pull the lever, receive your new achievement. No more steps. It just works. Say less. Now here's Say something less. special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it Give will it. happen. Give me it. Oh, well, um, let's head back up. Oh, so what else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? What about over here? We haven't been in here. What's this? Please, no screenshots. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration. Yeah. Like balloons. No, no balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. 12? What would you go with? Probably the get well someday over the happy 12th birthday. Am I stuck in here? Oh no. Step niece. Alright, we're gonna go with that one. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece, it is. Okay, <laughs> all right then. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No, no, I've made my decision, we're moving on. Yeah. All right, um, where did we not go? Do we go this way? <laughs> He's a little kid. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Doubt. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Uh -huh. So with that in sure. mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Sure. We'll give it a try. Jim. Sorry, mm, I no. should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. <laughs> but okay. of course, in the final game, right. this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here. Let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. 
Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. Let's take a mm -hmm. deep breath, clear your mind, forget oh. whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Who is Nathan? I want Nathan's you to not real. Who is he? Living as Jim. Hmm. Sleeping huh. and waking as Jim. My name is Jim. In love Some people and call me Slim. Because it Seizing runs with Jim. All of the world's My name possibilities is Jim. As Jim. And as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? Yes. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Got it. Oh, look. The button that says my name. Jim. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. <laughs> the button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Jim. Ooh. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth <laughs> the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Alright. Okay, uh... I guess we head back down, because none of those doors opened. Is this door open? Classic. Uh, alright, so we'll head over to the other way. Let's head to that, uh, infinite hole. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable <laughs> too. No. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. No. Can't do that. We're just gonna cut through here. It's a shortcut. Alright, uh, so the infinite hole, I think, was, like, over here, right? I think that's where the direction it said. Anyway, <laughs> um... Opening, surrounding area, depth, infinite rim. Okay, infinity. Just keep, it just keeps going. I'm ready. Oh, Stanley, oh. here's an idea that I'm truly oh, fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This okay. is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. That's right. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Yippee guy, eh? Alright. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole. You can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, what? and we can continue onward. Okay, but hear me out. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Why? What's going to happen? Is it not really infinite? Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the <laughs> hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I okay. don't really want to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... <gasps> Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. All you right. found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, <laughs> I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. Okay. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured I the hole was know. as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <laughs> okay, sorry. <sighs> Uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't I said we sorry. just put all this behind us and agree be, to I didn't just call it. the whole mostly infinite? Okay. If that works for you, then go ahead yeah. and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Gotcha. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Well, let's go. Tempted to jump back in the hole, but we're not gonna. <laughs> we're gonna move on. Let's go! Infinite hole was awesome! Well, mostly infinite hole was awesome. Huh. 
I'll edit it out if it's not back there, okay? Yeah, it wouldn't let me have it. Maybe we'll get to that later. Let's go look around some more. Am I supposed to go to the exit? Probably. Alright, well, let's go. Let's go! Oh, goodness, um, Stanley, this is fairly awkward. I hate to do this, but before you leave, you really should go to the bucket exhibit. Bucket you see, there's exhibit? a surprise I was going to spring on you later, and it involves the bucket. And I really do hate to break the illusion, but it's important that you go see the bucket, okay? Where? All right, I'll get out of your hair now. Where's the bucket? Where's the bucket? Show me the bucket. Reassurance bucket. This way. Reassurance bucket. This way. Aha! Uh -huh. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it okay. engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I have no a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. It's gone. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long oh. as you hold on to the bucket, there the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Hey, yes, language. The bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Give me the bucket. <laughs> <gasps> what? Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Uh, I maybe. think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Nice. Okay, we're going. Let's Does go. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? Maybe. That really should be an award if it isn't already. Well, we leaving. Interesting. So the bucket's going to be used for something, hey? Eh? Alright, we out. A briefcase. I can't take it. Stanley. New mug. All right. Please, no screenshot. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? It's yes, wonderful. I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. Gotcha. I'll arrange these oh. new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Let's see it. There's another bucket. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sure, sort yeah. of... Okay, never mind. Ooh, I got 36 jumps. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. All right. Good Let's see it. Here we Let's go. see it. Version 2. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? Oh, the achievement. This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. Okay. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, 
Maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, okay. well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. Course. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. Mm -hmm. all, right, all right. All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Let's have at it. Oh! Alright, guys. This is... Oh my goodness, you see this? Well, that's crazy. Alright, so... We're gonna end the recording there. Uh, this game's crazy. Uh, but I love it. Lot to see, lot to do. Uh, twists and turns everywhere. It's beautiful. Um, so... I can't wait to uh, jump into the next video. Uh, I know I recorded this super, super early in the morning, but that's because I woke up in the middle of the night. So, I mean, watch it at your leisure. I mean, you can watch it anytime you want. Anyway, uh, enjoyed the game. Uh, there's more to be had. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment. Say hello to Lieutenant Dan, and uh, as always, I hope you have a good one.